Hey y'all, it's your girl Stephanie. This is Wrestling Color Podcast right here on YouTube. Make sure you thumbs up the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Keep up with me. Get into the, all the videos I got. Hit me in the comments. Do all the things. I love talking to y'all. Engage and all that great stuff. So what are we talking about? Chapter 3. We're going into Chapter 3 of the Cody Rhodes uh, saga. Um, his match with Brock Lesnar took place at the Night of Champions. And he wrestled with a broken arm. Okay, now here's where I can't suspend my imagination, but for so much, I can't suspend it because he was doing uh, his roads to riches or whatever that's that move is the road to the to the mat with the broken arm. And then at one point, uh, Brock Lesnar was wrenching it and, you know, like this fucking what what's it called? Uh, 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 what's it called? I forgot. In a clutch, okay. He was clutching the arm all the way behind his back, and the arm is broke. Now I don't know what the fuck is supposed to be going on here, but that ain't it, and that was stupid. So ever since Cody Rhodes lost to the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. His story, or lack thereof, has been that of uh, equivalent to Batman. Or, no, matter of fact, Superman. I don't think Cody Rhodes is a human being. Because if you broke your arm at night of, uh, not at the night before or uh, on Monday Night Raw, he got his arm broke on Monday Night Raw, how in the fuck... Were you able to get out of a Camara lock? That's what it's called, a Camara lock. Two times and then pass out because it was that painful. Does he not have any fucking uh, 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 pain receptors? I've never broken a limb. I have stubbed my toe. I stubbed my toe. I rolled my ankle. I hit a wall when I was young and peeled off my kneecap. Well, I did slam my skull twice and fracture it when I was a kid. And that shit was painful. So I'm not really understanding if I broke my whole arm. That's called a compound fracture. How in the fuck am I able to lift this big motherfucker that is Brock Lesnar out up and get out of a Camara lot? I just want to know. So, y'all complain about Bianca Belair, who actually is a workhorse of the women's division, being the next John Cena. And you mean to tell me I'm supposed to actually believe that Cody fucking Rhodes is going to take the two belts off of the tribal chief? Are you fucking kidding? Is Cody Rhodes Superman? Is Cody Rhodes a part of the... uh? The, the the Marvel Universe? No, no. Of part of the DC Universe? Does he have a comic book I'm not aware of? What the fuck has he and him and his wife been doing? Has she been fucking some type of uh, 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 superpower into him? Like, what the hell is going on here? So he pinned the Beast Incarnate. And, and you know, passed out. He pinned him... Pinned him at a backlash. And then now we he, he got his ass whooped and all is now we here. I don't I the crowd loved it, Saudi Arabia. So it is what it is. But I personally think it's ridiculous. And I don't really know where Cody Rhodes is going with this because if he's gonna get him him and his tongue is gonna continue to get in that fucking ring and tell these long drawn out stories, I want not only do I want Roman Reigns to beat him. I want him to beat his fucking brains out. I don't want him at the top of the card. I honestly don't think he needs to be at the top of the card. Cody Rose is a good mid-card worker. He asked his next opponent should be Gunther. That's who his next opponent should be. Because that's where he needs to be at. Fight with Gunther. Get your, the skin slapped off your ass. And fall right back in that corner. I don't know where Cody Rhodes supposed to be. But he ain't supposed to be at the top of that card. And the way they write in this um, storyline for him. is no story to tell. I don't know what story he's telling. He kept.
kept getting kicked. He kept kicking out our F5 and your whole arm broke. The way he won the match is he fainted. And he was in a Kimura lock for five minutes with a broken fucking arm with a compound fracture. Somebody explains to me. Uh, I understand wrestling's for kids. But there's adults that's watched this. And I mean just a little bit. Just a little bit of uh, you know reality will help. Don't make me feel like a fucking idiot while watching this. Okay? Just a little bit. That's it. What's Cody Rhodes? What's next for Cody Rhodes? This is what I think. Chapter 3, Cody Rhodes needs to go get his arm put in a sling. If Cody Rhodes shows up on Raw and that motherfucking arm ain't, ain't in a sling, I know something. Cody Rhodes needs to be an arm in a sling. Cody Rhodes needs to take them fucking suits off. He needs to go in that ring. And Cody Rhodes needs to turn into a middle-of-the-road underdog. He needs to be pissed off, and he needs to be nice about it, too. That's it. I don't want to hear no speeches. I don't want him explaining shit about his daddy. At least he moved on from talking about his daddy. I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't even want him talking about Roman Reigns and what he's going to do. Because Roman's busy. I need him to focus on his sights on the next person, and that's Gunther. But I get the feeling that we're going to see Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar again at SummerSlam. And then Cody Rhodes is going to beat Brock Lesnar. And then everyone thinks that Cody Rhodes is going to go on to get uh, Roman Reigns. Well, that's not true because apparently Roman Reigns is going to hold that title to WrestleMania 41. So they need to let him beat Brock Lesnar and put him in a program with Gunther. Either put him in a program with Gunther or put him in a program with, uh, you got Seth Rollins. Or put him in a program with uh, Austin Theory. Those are the only three options. That's it. Because the story y'all telling, it's a story of chaos. Y'all tell me what y'all think should be happening with Cody Rhodes next. Tell me what y'all think about that match he had with Brock Lesnar and the Night of the Champions. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Later.